Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of our subtitling tutorial where we'll learn how to produce a subtitle for the deaf and hard of hearing or SDH subtitle. We have our video and the file that we had produced in the previous tutorial, Hercules number 12. We open that and we see the whole text that we had edited before. We go to audio, open the audio file and click on Hercules number 12 to see the sound spectrum. If we want to keep our new information in a different file, we go to File, Export as, Export again, and we write the new name of the file up there. In this case, we want to preserve the same denomination, but with a new final edition, SDH, Subtitle for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Don't forget to write SRT at the end, because that makes sure it's a universal format. We close the program now and we open our new file, which should be on our desktop. This is Hercules SDH. Let's go for that. Again, we follow the same procedure and we open the video or the audio, whatever you prefer. In the case of old computers, as I mentioned before, the audio alone works better. Brothers! If you go to the previous line, right click on it and then select Insert Before, you can introduce a new line, either before or after the one you had edited. You write the text after you listen to it. Remember that we need to describe the sound clearly and satisfactorily, so that someone who can't hear it can imagine what it is. At the same time, if the line appears in red color, it means that it has overlapped with the line that we had created previously. Brothers! That should happen under no circumstance. But whenever it does happen, we have to correct it sooner or later. Titan! We carry on with the parts that only contain dialogue and continue with our corrections. Look at you and your squalid prison! Look at you and your squalid prison! There isn't much that we can add in this section as it's only dialogue. <laughs> Who put you down there? <laughs> Who put you down there? Something that we have come to realize after listening to this section repeatedly is that the two small creatures, the devils, pain and panic, are afraid of their boss, and before he speaks, they both scream at the same time. That we should add to the SDH subtitle. It would make it more clear and complete. Also, keep the length of the lines in check. In this section, we have several titans screaming at the same time, but this is not immediately evident from the screen, because we can't see any mouths moving. We add a new tag, all. And now that I set you free! Capital letters and parentheses for that. And now that I set you free! What? This is when Hades launches a fire blast to free the titans from their prison. That will need a blast, parentheses and capital letters, right at the end of the phrase. What is the first thing? You are going to do! As we have a long line here, we don't introduce any SDH tags to avoid confusion. Destroy him! Once again, all the titans speak at the same time. They are screaming, they are furious after being freed by Hades. We write all, parentheses and capital letters. Good answer. And we move on to the next part, where we don't have any description of sounds. We'll see here that there is some kind of music, but we have to describe it precisely. For this part I've chosen brass section as the identification tag for the sound, as music alone wouldn't be enough and a few instruments are quite prominent. A titan with two heads is speaking now. The first one says Crush and the other one says Zeus. But we have no more space to include any SDH tags. In fact, it's not necessary. We can see the different heads and the different lips moving at different times. For this mixture of sound and noise, we'll resort to the same technique as the one we used at the very beginning. We'll write intriguing music. With that, we move on. It's now time to focus on the sounds and noises surrounding the intervention by the Ice Titan. Let's pay attention to that sound and edit the wide gap around it. Ah! 
There are clearly two different parts to this clip then. The first one is ice and the second one is lava, corresponding to the ice titan and the lava titan. Then we'll divide this fragment into two parts and the first one will have the blizzard tag. On this occasion we have a lava titan colliding with a mountain. However, we'll use the thunder tag because it sounds very much like it. Melt Zeus. The distance between these two subtitle lines is not very large and there is nothing that we can describe down there. We have been able to confirm that the gap was not that substantial, so it doesn't deserve a description. The next part, however, when the temple is blown away, contains something interesting. Did you hear that? Let's try again. So, in this part there is a sheep being blown away, and while it's blown away the sheep is bleating. We shouldn't use gerunds though, it's preferable to use a present simple, bleats or a noun, bleat. What will happen next? Let's see. Perhaps it would be a good idea to double check what we had written in this part, especially because we hadn't paid attention to the sounds and the noises, only to the dialogues. This part here had been omitted in our first attempt at subtitling this video. However, now that we are producing the SDH subtitles, we have to make sure that every tag is included if it's necessary and if it aids comprehension. Let's see what we can do with it. Again, it's the Ice Titan. That's our solution then. An SDH tag, whispering, followed by freeze him, the phrase pronounced by the Ice Titan. Olympus would be that way. Before Hades speaks, there is a sound that we should be describing as well. Olympus would be that way. guys. Uh, Did you hear that grunt right there? Well, if that was the case, you have to include it in your SDH subtitles. Remember, as two people are speaking in the same subtitle, you should introduce hyphens, a space between the hyphen and the text, and separate the lines with shift and enter. Olympus would be that way. And with this, we're almost finished. There is only one thing left to do. A short click at the end. There it is, that's what we have to write. Well then, the last subtitle line will contain an SDH tag describing the sound that we have just heard. The click. Parentheses and capital letters, remember, that's the convention we are going to use. Another convention that we should follow is the number of characters per second, no more than 16 in SDH subtitles. Red color indicates that corrections are necessary. We have to make sure that we have saved our work appropriately and that there is no asterisk next to the name. The file has to be SRT, so if you haven't done that, export it as SRT following the instructions at the beginning. Now we open the video file with VLC and drag and drop the subtitles we have just created. Let's see the results. So we opened the video, we drag and drop the subtitle, I make the screen larger so that you can see it better. Let's see the results. Brothers! Titan! Look at you and your squalid prison! <laughs> Who put you down there? <laughs> and now that I set you free, what is the first thing you are going to do? Destroy him! Good answer. Olympus would be that way. And with this we have finished our task. All of the information has been kept in the SRT file. That's all for today. I hope that the tutorial has been useful. Thanks for watching and goodbye.